definitely happy with where we're at. We played the toughest non-conference schedule that we could to prepare us for the OUA regular season, and uh, we're starting to get the results. We've competed hard every game. Our players have a great attitude right now. They show up every day in practice, and they're upbeat, and they're competing hard, and that's carrying through to games. Uh, we're working hard every game. We compete hard. Uh, we're sacrificing our bodies. Our penalty kills have been, been exceptional, and, and that's just because we're willing to block shots and get in lanes, and, and we're doing what it takes to win. Penalties are the big thing. We've been shorthanded more than any other team in the OUA, and we need to cut that down. If we can cut down our penalties and play five on five a little bit more and roll our lines, or our four lines, I think we'll be a lot more effective team. Yeah, we've had injuries pretty much the whole year now. I don't think we've played with a full lineup yet, so uh, who's ever in the lineup will keep working hard, and, and we don't expect a, a change in our results because we have guys injured. Ontario Tech's a dangerous team, uh, probably better than their record shows right now. Over the past few years, they've been a little bit inconsistent. They've got knocked off some of the best teams in the OUA and lost some games they probably should have won. Um, Jason Guy and Nett, one of the top goalies in the OUA, he can steal the game anytime by himself. Uh, an offense that's pretty quick strike offense, they like to attack off the rush and we just have to make sure we're aware defensively.